Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, the California Beekeeper. I'm Jose. We are heading into Man Lake. Go get some gear. Tell you guys what you guys need to do if you're gonna get started in beekeeping. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, the California Beekeeper. I'm Jose, we got Max here. We are here at a bee store. We are shopping for a bee suit. So if it's your first year beekeeping and you're trying to get the right bee suit, let me give you guys some tips, okay? When you're shopping for bee suits, the most important thing is that you wanna stay protected. Protected, get yourself the gear that you need if you don't have the right gear, beekeeping can really be really rough, especially when the girls are being honorary and just really just nailing you. Ventilated in the summer is the way to go, man. If you have ever tried one of these, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you have a tank top underneath these things. They just work so good, so good. I mean, you could even rock a pink one if you'd like. What do you think, Max? What happens if you wanted to wear pink? And then the bees didn't kill flower and then they start stinging you. Oh man, that'd be horrible, huh? Do you really want to get stung? All right, no one wants to get stung. So I would recommend getting full suits. Okay. These are Man Lake ones. Yeah, it's cool tan ones, camo and regular. Full suits is great because you're not going to get stung. Unless you're me. Somehow they get in there. Uh, here we got jackets. Now, once you start to get comfortable with your bees and are able to work them, you start slowly working yourself into a jacket. So now this is just a regular coat, just like this. Here is a ventilated coat. These ones are great, tan one. Actually, I like this one a lot. These are what we call pollinators. They're great, you just slap it in, go inspect hives real quick. This is, those are the ones that I love. Now, they also have these full suits here. Uh, what is this, Brushy Mountain. So these are the zipper ones and you can get yourself a hard hat looking thing and go right on that. So that's, to me, that's kind of a pain in the butt and I'm not a fan of the zippers. I like to be able to throw that hood, flop it back over, it's the best. Let's see, what else? What else, Max? What do we got going on? This one's the J-hook, Max, like I'll show you right here. And you just hook it, you're able to hook it and pull the frame up. Oh. This is the one that Antonia likes to use, the J-hooks. That's another thing, if you're just starting to beekeeping, you need protection, you need your gloves, I need the size you need the, size the bee suit, you need boots, hive tools. Yeah. This is my favorite hive tool, nine and a half. Dad, I got you that. I buy one of those and Yeah, I you don't did buy me one it. of those. A bee brush, Already it's always a handy. Not, Not necessary, but it's handy um, when you want to brush off some of those bees to be able to inspect it properly. All right. That's one of these. One of those? All right. So, all you need when your beekeeper is just get a little hive tool, any kind, even if it looks different. What else do people need? Do they need a smoker? Yep. Here's a smoker without the guards. Um, I don't. Honestly, I don't recommend the ones without the guard. The ones with the guard are the best. Especially, you don't want to 
rest them on your hive and burn your hive. Yeah, I need a brush. You need a brush, yes. You need fuel. But we like to use burlap, oh, pellets. Check out these nukes. These are the double nukes, huh? Hey, we wanted to say, oh, we forgot to tell them, Max. We forgot to tell them. We just reached 20,000 subscribers. 20,000 subscribers, can you believe that? Max, we have to tell our subscribers, thank you. Thank you, subscribers. Thank you so much. We appreciate all of you guys. We hope that you guys are having a great start of the new year. The queen breeding season is starting for us here soon in about, uh, we'll say maybe uh, two months, a month and a half, really a, a month because we gotta get the breeders rolling and set up and we have a lot going on, but it's time. Queen season, bee season, ready to rock and roll. Oh, they can't forget the gloves, he said. So this is cool. So this is for, for those those hobbyists. I saw this at the Hive Life. This is a B-Smart stand. I wanted to look at it. La I think it was, it was last year at the Hive Life. Didn't get a chance to really look at it, but this one's pretty slick. Pretty nice little thing for this? our uh, for our queen banks. What is this, Dad? It's a stand to oh, elevate your beehive Ooh, off the ground. If it is your first time beekeeping and you're getting into all this stuff, you might be getting one of these cardboard nukes or these jesters. Oh, the pro nukes. Or maybe even a package. But whatever it is, it's bees. Get protected. Get your suit. Get your smoker. Get your hive tool. Get all the things that you need and just mark that checklist one by one. You should be in good shape. Max, what's your favorite store? This one. <laughs> the bee stores? Yep. All right. The bee stores are the ones that we love. It's like a Home Depot for bees. Put that hive tool up there, Mac, so Andrew can uh, bring us up. Bring us up and bring us up. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there we go. Wow, how five. much are suits nowadays? Is that with the employee discount? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a bee suit. Bee suit and the hive tool. So, have a good evening. Have a good queen season. Have a good bee season. Have a good day, everybody. Have a good life. Rip your bees. Stay happy. Rip your bees. Bye. From the California Beekeeper. Mom, say bye to our subscribers. Bye. All right, guys. We have our suit ready to head home. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you have, oh, oh man, come on. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go down below, smash that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, and share. Love hearing from you guys. We'll see you on the next one.